Hi, Katie Anderson here, Leadership and Learning Coach. And today I wanna to talk with you about a topic that is near and dear to what I consider my purpose and my passion, which is helping inspire leaders, you, around the world to live and lead with intention. If you'd followed me for any period of time, you'd know that I'm obsessed with these dolls from Japan called Daruma dolls that represent having a goal and the tenacity and perseverance it requires to achieve goals and become the people that we want to be. You fill in the Daruma's left eye when you have a goal and the right eye when you finally achieve it. This Daruma I had specially made for me in Japan and it shows the word intention in Japanese, shiko, here. And this describes what I've come to see the deeper meaning of the word intention. This word, part of the word comes from heart, and this one comes from direction. And living with intention is about connecting what's important inside of us, our purpose, our values, and then aligning our actions to fulfill that purpose, to achieve that person of who we want to be and how we want to show up. So what I want to ask you today is how would you define the actions that align with the leader and the person that you want to be? I suggest going through an exercise of defining what you could call your leadership or personal credo. The 10 principles that are most important to you, principles and practices about how you want to show up, who you aspire to be as a leader and as a person in alignment with fulfilling your pers personal purpose. I first discovered this process of creating a leadership print credo in working with Asao Yoshino, the subject of my book, Learning to Lead, Leading to Learn. And in it, he actually describes his leadership credo that he created when he was the new director of a large group in Toyota, where he wanted to document what was most important to him and that define how he wanted to show up and the behaviors he wanted to cultivate as the culture in his department. In putting together your leadership credo, it can be like, as one participant, one leader in my Leading to Learn Accelerator said earlier today, it's like the blueprint for the culture that you want to create. It's about how you are articulating and defining those key actions, and it helps make the invisible visible. What are those things that you value the most and how are you going to show up and how are you clearly communicating those values and actions to the people around you as well? By putting it down on paper, it's an opportunity to document and codify what you consider the most important actions to take and also how you want to help support the people around you to behave and engage every day. In some ways, your leadership credo can be like your true north um, of the actions to take to achieve the person you want to be as a leader and as a person. It's been really exciting to see the different leadership credos that the 20 participants in the Accelerator program have started to put together. And I too have been working on refining and defining my own 10-point leadership credo. I have some tips and some practices that can help you as you explore defining and creating your leadership credo as well. And I encourage you go to my website, kbjanderson.com backslash leadership hyphen credo to learn more. In it, I, you can also download Mr. Yoshino's credo that he created as a Toyota leader back in the 1980s and see also what his, one of his, the leaders that inspired him considered to be his 10 point leadership credo. I'll also share where I am as creating my leadership credo and some tips for you too, as you're considering about how you reflect and define what's important to you. As leaders and as people, it is so important to make the invisible visible. By defining a leadership or personal credo, we help define for ourselves and hold ourselves accountable for the actions we want to take and help make it explicit and visible to the people around us of what we value. And they too can help hold us accountable for achieving the person and the leader that we want to be. So I hope this has helped you and inspired you to consider what is your leadership or personal credo. And come visit me at kbjanderson.com and explore and share as well what your leadership credo is. I look forward to hearing from you and continue to live and lead with intention. 
Again, kbjanderson.com for more information, and I'll put in the comments as well. Uh, looking forward to hearing from you. Cheers.